Hi right, guys, it's Alan here. Well, got a new phone. Anyway, let's have a look. We've had some issues with the tank. Um, I had a spike, but I believe that's because I was messing around um, with some Blackbeard algae again. So we did have some issues. Um, I'm also going to try this out, which is a timer for the lights. I've got two different lights, so I'm going to try those. Um, but I wanted you to have a look at this tank. We have got some babies, or a baby. Uh, let me see what I'll find. There we are. Let me see if I can zoom in, guys. Not really picking that up, but there you go. I'm not sure where that came from. Um, we did have these guys interested in that one and we did have this one but then suddenly they decided to change and as you can see this one's now empty and they're all playing interest oh, you gorgeous you are um, playing with this one so and also look we had an issue with that one um, someone said about getting some new fish, um, some new platies in different colours. Yes, that is on the board. Um, one of my neighbours has got a tank which we will be having a good look at. Um, see if we can maybe I don't know, get some fish in here from there. Um, I'm also going to be swapping out some stuff. I've got some new some new media I want to use, uh, this is Cynthia Glass, I've used, um, it's from Filter Pro UK, uh, this guy Richard really knows his stuff, now he's talking about aerobic and anaerobic bacteria, and this is the stuff, he makes this stuff, it is quite expensive what it is, um, but I swapped over yesterday the the 15 gallon or the 50 litre, whatever you want to call it, to this stuff um, and obviously put some of the old media back in. Always do that if you get the chance. Also, someone asked me how I get those to stick on the wood. Well, I used elastic bands. I used elastic bands. By the time the elastic band degraded, it was already seated there, so that was quite cool. Um, I'm not sure what the eggs look like. I've looked on YouTube because I'm pretty sure these are egg layers. Um, look at that. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a nosy git. He really is nosy as well. So it's quite, it's quite much. It's good fun. It's good fun having him. Um, you've got the cardinals though. They seem a little bit itchy. Oh, look. These are showing. See that? I don't know if you can see that, but they are showing. Um, they're courting, basically. So I'm hoping we may get some babies there as well. Um, they're beautiful. They've, they've got a lot. They've changed a lot. These guys have changed a lot in colour. So I want to see what we can do with that. This guy's getting a bit droopy. But then, so all these fish in here, none of these have been bought. They've all been rescued. Um, and as you know. This tank was never meant to be for this, but guys, it's really turned out well. I'm gonna, oh, I think we've got babies in there as well. I was gonna take all this out, um, but I've been told not to, because, well, I'm not gonna take it all out. I'll take this front piece out here. This, all this I'm gonna take out and just leave the back. It gives them a bit more area to, to swim around in. Um, I've got another pot there. I've had some comments about getting small caves in here and I want to trim these up so you can actually see into these caves I don't know if you can actually see these these were handmade um, which I've put a link in there now here's the other one now so I don't know what do you think and I hope this camera's coming it, it really doesn't do it justice oh we have a new plant um, I don't know if you can see that just behind the cave there that's a new kind of plant that I'm looking at. 
And look at the armor like, yeah, well, I just thought I've got to zoom on this now. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, it's gone out of focus. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Oh, well. It's worth a try. These Amano shrimp, they are really cool to look at. I will be looking into updating um, the fish. I might get some fish to, to actually go on with these. Don't forget, a lot of these are going out of here soon. Um, we did find some issues. Uh, one of the guys mentioned that the, the actual cowling around there, that I'm putting some soundproofing in. Got some soundproofing because the flu valve 406 is a little bit noisier than I want. Also, I've got the air pump that's going to go on to here. I've done a lot of clearing up today. Um, with this one, look at the hybrids, they're doing well. And oh, this timer, this timer I got will work with the standard Roma LED, doesn't come with it, it's just a switch. This will connect to it. You put all the time in and it'll do it all for you. This was about six quid um, on eBay. I will get the link and I will put it in the link. So if any of you guys want to try this out, for the sake of six pound, it will work with any light that has that, that has that type of power. So that's quite cool as well. Um, now, I've got a problem that I need someone to help me with. The cichlids that I've got in here, um, I believe aren't breeding because there is two pairs in here. Now, I'm not sure that these guys will go into a flex. I've got another spare flex. Or do I need to get a bigger tank? Or should I say another tank? I have got another tank, which is out in the garden. Um... But I didn't really want to keep these out of here because I think they do compensate quite well. You know, these all go, I mean, like the little rainbows of, you know, no, they're not touching anyone. Look, they don't get grumpy. They're just not an angry fish. You know, let me just zoom in a little bit. They just don't do angry. Um, I've never had any issues with these guys. Yeah, I mean... Now, someone asked me, how do I keep the tank so clean? Well, you're going to hear this so much, but it's balance. If you get a lot of plants and make sure your light's on for no more than seven hours, you will have a good balance. Saying that, what you also want are some of them, which are Ottos. They're very cool. And you want some of these. Nearites. Nearites do not breed as such, so you can get eight or nine in here and not have an issue, and they will clean the tank. I mean, obviously, I do give it a clean with that now and again. Um, and obviously having a good flow. At the moment, I've got that on because I did have a lot of debris at the top. I get that when I feed them because I feed them frozen. These are all frozen. See that guy there? That little fella there? He's a hybrid. He is the one. Oh, look, they're showing again. They're chasing each other, so I'm hoping to get some rainbows as well. That'd be really cool getting some of them. Um, any ideas, guys? Let me know. I've got it in hand with the um, X ones of these. I believe they're going to be black and white, so that should give up some nice colours. Look at look, look at Mavis. I call her Mavis, one of the oldest guppies I've seen. She's nearly three years old. Um, I do believe that she's she was tank bred, but. That's still, that's still something else. It's the last shot. Look at that. That is an awesome looking fish. Just stares straight at me. I don't know where the other fella's gone. But it is looking really good. I think a lot of people don't understand having a piece, having this in here is just such a cool, here we go, look. It's just such a cool thing to have an aquarium in your house. I sit here for hours and hours just watching these fish and look, he's grumpy. You know, stop looking at me. Look at his face, look. Who you look at it? <laughs> um, so you got you gotta understand that when you get a tank, I mean I do a 50% water change on this every week 
regardless. I don't use RO water, um, but I use filtered water purely because there's some stuff that I don't want in there. And then what I do is I actually put some uh, shrimp salt in there, give that a little bit. And also I use TNC light now, not complete, I use light, which is obviously good. Um, I did have some die off on the plants. Um, yeah, you can see one there, that was a, a bit of an issue. Um, it's because of this, it gets ripped off by that. But you look at the colors of that, how lush these colors are. These tiger lilies grow and grow and grow and you, you can't kill them there. This, I want to get rid of all this. What do you think guys, should I get rid of all this? Should I take some of this out, open this up a bit? You've still got that big one at the black back there. And I believe there's a fish in there somewhere. Can you see that fish hiding? So that would be interesting to see as well. Um, with the 15 by the way, the hybrids are getting bigger and there are shrimp in there as well. Um, and for some reason, I think they were sort of piggybacking in. I've got some, I think they're called ram horn snails. Never know where they come from, but I think they piggybacked in on something. Here's the uh, little night right snail there. There you go. Anyway, I hope you like looking at the tank. Um, oh, one last, uh, last thing. That's, I think, has stopped working. The filter. Uh, not the filter, sorry, the heater. They had some issues with it. Um, it wasn't actually telling me the right temperature. That's outside, that's inside. Yeah, this tank is actually just over 26 at the moment. Um, it's quite cool in here. Uh, but anyway, if you've got any suggestions, please leave a comment or a like or a subscribe, whatever you want to do. Uh, let me know I'm doing something right, and if not, let me know I'm doing something wrong. You take care now. Cheers guys, bye bye.